everyone always says that. This is my speaking voice. This is its natural volume. Fine, fine. Short-sighted morons. What now, Paris? We went to all this trouble to set up this stupid seminar. I say we, but let's face it, I did most of the work, and Mr. Hunter won't let me do it the way I want. The panelists are up there. We sit across from them and ask questions. What's the problem? It's boring and predictable and done to death. I wanted Charlie Rose. To ask the questions? His style. I wanted us sitting at a round table with black backdrops. But the audience wouldn't be able to see anything. I was working with the losers in the AV club to project it on a giant video screen. And all Mr. Hunter said was, Paris, this isn't the Beatles at Shea Stadium. Nice anachronism, huh? Like they had video screens in 65. His references are as topical as his suits. Ladies and gentlemen, if I can have your attention, please, we can get the seminar started. I'd like to bring up the organizers of this little event, Paris Geller and Rory Gilmore. Thank you, Mr. Hunter. Everybody, this is a seminar called The Business of Getting In. Its goal is to help guide us through the torturous process of applying to and getting into the right college. My panelists are Jim Romaine, admissions officer at Princeton University, and Ivy League college consultant Rose Samuels. Welcome, panel. Yes, welcome. Now, panel, you're addressing a group of kids just beginning the stressful process of applying to college. Question, what is the biggest mistake a person can make on his or her application? Mr. Romaine? Well, forgetting to send it in would be the worst mistake, but perfunctory answers would be high on my list. Explain. I'm talking about run-of-the-mill responses, a lack of originality, particularly in the essay category. If I read one more over-adulating piece of prose about Hillary Clinton and her profound influence, my head will explode. I hear that. Sometimes a mistake like that comes from writing what one thinks an admission officer mm. wants to read. Big mistake. And sometimes it's just a lack of original thought. Just as big a mistake. Personal anecdote. When I was 12 and I was writing the first of my trial essays, in practice for the day I'd write my real essay, I chose Hillary Clinton. Then I realized every brain dead bent in a skirt would be writing about Hillary, but it was good to clear the pipes. Now, what are some other mistakes? Well, small thing, but if your printing is bad, that says something we don't like. If your extracurriculars and volunteer activities are too by the book, that says something we don't like. Yes, those activities should have a personality behind them, a mm. focus, a direction. I've seen applications where the student has circled every activity listed. Again, you're trying too hard there. One can't be interested in everything. They're the ones who've had college paraphernalia on their walls their whole lives. <laughs> <laughs> too hungry, it's a little immature. Interesting. Interesting. Rory, do you want to ask a question? No. What? No, thank you. OK. So how early should a student get an application in? By the due date. Earlier makes no difference. It's a complete myth that there's a benefit to be derived from early admission. I do think it's important to talk about the interview process. I believe it's an opportunity to weed out the hyper-intense candidate. Hi, Grandma. Hello, Rory. You look flushed. I ran from the bus stop. I'm okay. Mom, hey, I've been trying to call you. Can I talk to you for a second? Is something wrong? No, I just need to talk to Mom about something. That's all. We'll be quick. Okay, hon. We'll be back. <laughs> I'm not getting into Harvard. What? Who says? Well, I'm completely unprepared, and I have no original thoughts. No, no. Don't blame yourself. It's not you. It's those jerks at Harvard. I hate them. What? Well, apparently it doesn't matter how qualified you are. Those lazy-ass admissions officers just take applications and stick it in the yes and no piles without even glancing at them. Well, it won't matter because my Hillary Clinton essay will be just like every other girl's Hillary Clinton oh. essay because apparently that's all we can think of. I'm such a hack. Is it true everyone has the same GPA? How is that possible? Because we all take the same classes and we all give the same perfunctory run-of-the-mill responses. And I'm interested in too many things. I have to limit them. I'm going to circle travel on my application. From now on, that is what I'm interested in. Travel. No, no, don't do that. No, because all those people coming from China and India and God knows where else, they're all nuts for traveling. That's why they're traveling here. And, and jobs are dropping and dot-com bombing and something's acting like a yo-yo. I don't know what, but it's not good. And over my dead body is Kate Hudson getting your spot. Let me just say that right now. Mom, you're freaking out. Yes, I'm freaking out. Well, you can't freak out. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Hello? What the hell did Romain mean when he was going on about weeding out the hyper-intense in the interview process? He stopped just short of calling me by name. I'm losing it. Not now, Paris. I tried to throw the questioning over to you because I was about to heave, and you left me hanging, so I had to come home and heave. I'll talk to you tomorrow, Paris. Wait. OK, we got to calm down here. 